y'all we are back with another makeup tutorial in baby i feel like i'm back like yeah <laughs> stop playing with me i've been doing a lot of colorful looks lately and it feels so good to just do my thing and kind of be carefree so y'all hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started All right, y'all, so we are back with another video and I'm doing this makeup look. So I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows. I'm gonna sketch everything out. I will have all my products in my description box listed down below in the order in which I am using them. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and clean them up with my concealer per usual. Y'all already know how this goes, okay? Like, it's so repetitive, but at this point, I feel like everybody knows how to do their makeup and yeah so we don't have to really explain everything if that makes sense like this is kind of like a look and learn watch me do my face type thing but yeah i feel like i've got my i've gotten my creativity back for the most part i've been doing so many looks and i cannot wait for you guys to see them like i feel so happy and just excited i feel like i'm back to the old ariel skip to my low and it's been a long time coming i will say that so i'm just taking some coconut oil and my elf primer to go ahead and prep the face and right here i'm using some face paint it's a dark brown because i wanted to kind of contour my face contour my nose and everything because i got a round face okay <laughs> i want to look snatched like how y'all do so that's what we're using and i'm also going to go ahead and take my concealer lay that down and i didn't use a lot of foundation with this look because of um this method right here it doesn't require a lot of foundation so yeah we're just going to go ahead and place everything i'm gonna allow it to kind of dry down and then we're going to blend everything out And y'all, I find that brushes actually just give fuller coverage. Y'all know I'm a full coverage type of girl. So whenever you tap, 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 pat, 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 swiping, no swiping. I just feel like the brush kind of leaves the product on the face versus like a sponge right here. It will kind of soak it up for the most part. And this sponge is on the dry side from Airy Winkle. If you guys have not purchased from my collection, what are you waiting on? Okay, like support your girl. Okay, stop playing with me. Okay, support a dream <laughs> and get your face laid. Like playing some makeup like how I do, okay? But yeah, we're just gonna tap, 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 pat, 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 swipe or no swiping. I'm trying to make sure that I have full coverage and I wanna make sure that the concealer is very, very smooth.
by all means you can stop right there but y'all know i'm extra so i like a super duper duper bright under eye not super duper bright but i like a lifted look i love that baby doll effect whenever i'm doing my um, makeup so yeah that's what i did i added that bright concealer and now I'm just taking a foundation brush and applying my foundation on all areas that did not get the face paint nor the concealer. I find that this actually does help with like quality control, product control when it comes down to foundation. Foundations are kind of on the heavier side versus like concealer in my opinion. So yeah, I really do like how my makeup like just turned out like super duper flawless. The pictures were bomb, like it was just so pretty. And I did my face first instead of eyeshadow. So yeah, this method is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me, but I do love doing my eyes first. That's just me. Okay, y'all, so once everything is pretty much blended, I'm just going in, checking and making sure I don't have any creasing. And then since we use wet products, we're gonna lock it in place with a dry product. So I'm just using my setting powders to um, help me get my face really, really snatched. We do not want our face, our products to shift and move. So that's why you lock it in with a powder. I know it looks like a lot, but you have to trust the process with makeup. like that's just what it is you're gonna look a little crazy but at the end it's just gonna look so bomb so flawless and then of course i'm always tapping and buffing that into the skin i don't want to swipe it onto the skin because that can leave flashback and it's just not going to be nice and uniformed and now i'm just going to chisel these cheeks okay because i want to look snatched okay so i'm just tapping each step, I'm always tapping. Y'all already know that, okay? It's just going to give like this super smooth effect. Everything is just going to look so flawless. Okay, y'all, so I'm just adding some blush to my cheeks, and I'm also gonna go ahead and lock my foundation areas in place with a pressed powder. Okay, so once I have that, I'm just making sure that everything is nicely blended. I want everything to just be ombre and in a smooth transition. So that's where tapping, like literally, if you do nothing else, always tap. Tapping, tapping, and more tapping. Okay, so I did not lock my um, lid area in place because again, I am using eyeshadows. So I'm taking the James Charles palette and I'm gonna use those brown shades. And we're just gonna go ahead and lay that dark brown shade down. I am using a fluffy brush. Most of my brushes are from Morphe. I love the Morphe brushes, y'all. Morphe and BH Cosmetics, those are like top tier. Real Techniques, top tier, okay? So yeah, I'm just making sure that I'm stepping that color on. Again, still tapping. I'm going to swipe and swirl slightly, but tapping, okay? Tapping, tapping, and tapping.
Okay, so now that we have the transition, I'm gonna take my P. Louise base. This is actually the paint in shade zero, and we're just gonna cut the crease. When I say this has stepped the eyeshadow game up in my life, this was a product that I did not know I needed. Like, I cannot do my makeup, my eye makeup without this because it's just that girl, okay? This and the colored bases, oh my God, like, run do not walk don't skip run <laughs> and get you some okay because you're just gonna see this huge difference in your eyeshadow like it grips it doesn't really crack like mm, it just steps the game up for real Okay, so once I have my cut crease completed, I am gonna go in to my tear duct area and like open that space up so I can get that really like baby doll effect. I love the baby doll eye. I love the baby doll under eye. It's definitely giving brats and it's also giving my scene. Nobody ever talks about my scene or give them credit. Like, of course we love Sasha. We love Jade, Yasmin, and Chloe. But what about Madison? What about Barbie from my scene? No Lee and Chelsea, like they were that girl. Delancey, that girl. Stop playing with them, okay? Like give them their props, give them their credit, okay? That's what I was going for. Whenever I do my makeup, I wanna look like a doll. I wanna look like I'm just slayed and just ready for a fashion show, okay? <laughs> That's the deal with me, okay? But back to the tutorial, I am taking that kind of like khaki tan shade and I am using a fluffy brush, but honestly, flat brushes are always best for the lid. Like, I don't know, it just gives more pigmentation to your um, eyeshadows. So now that we have the tan shade down, I went in with kind of like this. It was kind of like a brown pinkish type color and I'm gonna put that on the kind of like top portion of the end of that cut crease. And then we're gonna close it off with the more darker brown color. So for the tear duct area, I'm just taking some white eyeshadow just to buff it in and just give me like the, I'm not gonna say like catch lights, but kind of like a catch light type of look, you know? Y'all feel me, you get me. Yeah, that's what we did, something real cute. And this was a simple eye makeup, like, I feel like this is very easy to do, you know? And you're using like earth tone colors. So it's not too much. It's a lot, but it's not too much. You know, I feel like you can go out and wear this look out in public, like with no problem. So yeah, I'm just taking my lip liner, Wet n Wild per usual. I do wanna try some more lip pencils because this has been the GOAT and the go-to for years, but I wanna try something else that has a lot of pigmentation. I know the MAC Chestnut is good. 
I might try that, but I want something that's very, very rich. The Juvia's Place is good as well. And I need to go ahead and purchase some more online because the shade that I normally get, they don't sell it in Ulta. Why? I don't know. But yeah, we're just going ahead and basically adding the finishing touches. I'm going to do my wing and everything. We're going to put the lashes on from Airy Winkle. Yeah, stop playing with her. And y'all right here, I'm using the Lancome mascara. When I say she's that girl. <laughs> she's that girl. I love that mascara. Okay. It just comps my lashes and things real nice, real smooth. Okay. So yeah, I did take some um, face paint and put it on my lips. And right here, I'm taking the Sephora eyeliner. Y'all, I'm mad at y'all because y'all did not tell me how dope and how clutch this eyeliner was like i was so used and so hooked on the nyx old formula in their eyeliner but this this is a real find and i'm just mad because y'all did not tell me like ariel all you gotta do is just get the sephora brand none of y'all told me that so now i got beef with y'all because <laughs> how could you not or maybe you didn't know i'm gonna let i'm gonna let it slide and say y'all ain't had no so I'm telling y'all, go get you some Sephora eyeliner. It dries matte, it's just, the wand is good. Everything is just dope, just, mm, okay. I've been finding a lot of great products lately and I just cannot wait to share all of them with you guys, okay? I'm not gonna be stingy, cause even though y'all ain't had to tell me, I'ma tell y'all, okay? Cause I love y'all, okay? <laughs> but y'all just taking my Airy Winkle lashes, whoop the whoop, and we are done, y'all. Like, oh my God, do y'all like my makeup? Cause I like my makeup. Do we like it? Cause I like it. Like, I really feel like I'm back to Ariel, the old Ariel, the old skip to my lure come through Lou because we 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 are back we are back and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed creating this look for you guys and again everything will be in my description box listed down below and I'll catch y'all in my next one